The reason why your husband doesn't send you flowers is because no one sends the indentured servant flowers. What? I think we need to be realistic about the time period that a lot of men glamorize, which is the 1950s, when women had to be coupled with men just to be able to survive. Your husband is looking for a survival marriage. He's looking for cheap labor. And I know this is not everyone's marriage, but it is a good bulk of marriages. The fact that so many men glamorize a time period when women could not have their own bank account and could not have their own properties and also glamorize their grandmothers when they don't even know their grandmother's favorite color is telling. And this is why feminism destroyed the black community. <laughs> What's up everyone and welcome to another video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tickle that notification bell that will let you know when I upload content. Today, we have a delusional overweight woman that is clearly a feminist talking about men glamorize the 1900s? Really? First of all, before we get into anything, let's roll that clip. The reason why your husband doesn't send you flowers is because no one sends the indentured servant flowers. I think we need to be realistic about the time period that a lot of men glamorize, which is the 1950s, when women had to be coupled with men just to be able to survive. Your husband is looking for a survival marriage. He's looking for cheap labor. And I know this is not everyone's marriage, but it is a good bulk of marriages. The fact that so many men glamorize a time period when women could not have their own bank account and could not have their own properties and also glamorize their grandmothers when they don't even know their grandmother's favorite color is telling. In his eyes, he gave you a $2,000 ring and a $50 marriage certificate for a lifetime of service. And you should be happy about that. I remember when a woman on this app said that a lot of men treat women like Alexa. We need Alexa to do basic tasks for us, but the moment Alexa talks too much, she gets on our nerves. That's why he's not picking up his laundry or doing any domestic tasks. He thought when he married you, he married a maid, a servant, a nanny, a breeder, and a prostitute. And he expects you to do your job. And see, this is the reason why I'm gonna break down feminism in this video. It is important for black women to understand the damage that feminism has caused in the black community toward black relationships. When we look at feminism, if you remember the great African scholar, Shahrazad Ali, she wrote a book called The Black Man's Guide to Understanding the Black Woman and The Black Woman's Guide to Understanding the Black Man. In those two books, she did a very great job of explaining why feminism destroyed the black community. When we look at this woman's talking points, they are indeed feminist. Why do you think that a black single woman is using feminist talking points to basically say, I'm going to be single for the rest of my life? Feminism was a white woman's fight for white woman's rights for white women that wanted to be equal with white men. Feminism did not and will never be a black woman's fight. See, as black people, we have to understand that feminism was never a black woman's fight. As black women, you have to be careful what you say because it's very important with social media platforms such as YouTube and TikTok, you're spreading the correct information. Now, since this black woman appears to be a feminist, we're going to dive into this. For those of you who don't know, there is a book called Black Macho and the Myth of the Superwoman. And in this book, it's written by a black woman. But see what black women and black feminists 
do not understand is that they were infiltrated from the inside by Gloria Steinem. Case in point here, an article that came out which reads as follows. Gloria Steinem first came across the radar of black men in 1978 when Steinem put a book called Black Macho and the Myth of the Superwoman on the cover of Miss Magazine. The magazine which she controlled, the book was written by a black feminist and activist named Michelle Wallace, who came out of nowhere. Wallace was in her early 20s at the time, yet she was being touted as the leader of black feminism. In the book, what, but Wallace was in her early 20s at the time, yet she was being touted as the leader of black feminism. In the book, Wallace called abolitionists like Harriet Tubman and Sojourner Truth ugly and stupid for supporting black men. She called black revolutionaries, chauvinists, macho pigs, and advised black women to go it alone. Say, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Gloria Steinem said that Wallace's book would define the future of black relationships. Pay very close attention to those words. And she pushed hard to make sure the book received massive publicity. Gloria Steinem's work triggered a flood of hate black men books and films that continues to this day. Needless to say, some were quite suspicious of Miss Magazine and Gloria Steinem. Why was Steinem sticking her nose into the affairs of the black community? So people started doing some research on Steinem when it came out that Gloria Steinem was probably the ghostwriter of the book. And see, this is the reason why I fight so hard against feminism and feminist black women. Because to be a feminist, in my opinion, is to be against the black race. Why would you follow a woman or a group of women that believe in going it alone. And if you notice what she was saying, she was saying that this is going to be the norm for black relationships. What is the norm of black relationships even today in America? Black women want to go it alone, want to be independent. I got it all by myself. I don't need a man that feminist rhetoric it's all fun and games until you learn the truth huh let's continue bottom line the so-called black feminist movement was created and manipulated by the by the cia from the very beginning oh the only difference between black revolutionaries and black feminists on this issue is that black revolutionaries know they were infiltrated and manipulated but black feminists are still unwilling to admit that they were infiltrated and manipulated, largely because they are a highly invested in the hateful brand of black feminism. As a result, the hate black men movement has become more than just a political point of view. It is now a central part of the culture of black women. Oh. And this fact has led to the destruction of both the revolution and black relationships. And the CIA had a direct hand in creating this situation. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. So while you sit there as a black woman and you want to talk about indentured servants and slavery and submission is bad and submission is slavery and I'm not gonna cook and clean because I'm a woman and I'm better than that and I'm equal and I'm this and I'm that you are basically spouting the same rhetoric that destroyed our community oh you 
you are keeping the deception alive. Nobody's trying to treat you like a slave or an indentured servant. We're not trying to make you into, okay, we're going to marry you and you're our property now. That was white men. Learn your history. Go buy some books on black history and learn something. And stop repeating the same feminist cycle. Anything that has to do with the CIA or the FBI or any government organization that pushes things into the black community, run. Gloria Steinem was a CIA agent. What does the CIA and the FBI have in common with the black community? They infiltrate and destroy. But yeah, you want to be a feminist. You want to be independent. You want to continue the same thing that they pushed on us and continue to push on us each and every day. Think about that. The next time you as a black woman want to spit some feminist rhetoric, think about what this video just revealed. Think about the damage that you are doing to the black community. And with that being said, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tickle that notification bell. That will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And until next time, peace.